everybody. Neil here. So, I've been doing a lot of thinking. A lot of thinking about where we're going to go next. Now, I, I know that I said World Gen, and we're going to do World Gen today, but there's a couple of other things that I want to do. So, I have a feeling that this episode's going to be a little bit long. So, uh, bear with me. Skip through where you need to. Um, but I think it's going to be to everybody's benefit uh, what we're going to work on. So, without further ado, let's not get into uh, that. Let's just come over here. Let's jump in. We're already in our main modding class, so that's good. So what I want to do first is we created a class right here, copper ore. We're going to register a lot of ores, right? I'm thinking in this mod, in my version, what I'm going to do is I'm going to have about five different ores that I want to do. So I'm going to create a generic ore class. Um, you'll notice that the block has some different properties to it, like it's, you know, the material of it is going to be iron. The, when you're walking over it, it has a metal sound to it, whereas ores, ores are ores are ores. They're all going to be the same. So, what I'm going to actually do here is I'm going to come in and I'm going to create a new class, and I'm going to name this um, uh, ore block. Right? And I'm going to come over here to my copper ore, and really what I want to do is... I want to take all of this right here, and I just want to dump this into my ore block class. Now I'm going to have to come in here, and I'm going to have to rename the type to ore block. But really, all of these properties are going to be the same across all of my ores, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to save that, and I want to come back over here to my main modding class, and this class is just going to be ore block and we're going to import it. Now what this is going to allow me to do is to create a couple of other ores that we are going to have show up in our um, in our mod here. And I'm actually just going to kind of go crazy a little bit. And that's kind of, kind of why I was talking about how this might be a little bit longer of an episode. Um, tin ore. We're going to have zinc ore. We're going to have nickel ore. And... Uh, shit, why not? We'll do uh, ore. Mang manganese. Ore. Uh, what else do we want to do? Let's do... Uh, Let's, let's go crazy. Let's go crazy. Uh, public. I can never type public right. Jeez. Public static block. Or uh, vanadium. Or uh, public static. This is going to be the last one, I promise. Public static. Um block or rhodium rhodium or sweet so what we can do is whenever we come down here and we're, we're loading these up right and I'm going to do a little bit of copy pasta here uh, this is a little risky doing this but we'll do it the right way tin Tin, tin, and tin. Right? And here we will do zinc. So zinc, zinc. Zinc again and ugh, zinc there. So we have um, essentially three ores that we're doing. 
Let's kind of separate these out a little bit. Um, items. Ores. And blocks. Um, we still have four others. I'll go ahead and do those offline. But essentially now we have three different ores that we're going to be spawning in through our world gen. Now before I get that done, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do, um, I'm going to put these into the language, right, into our lang file. Um, so go ahead and do that right now. And again, I'm just going to do some copy pasting here. And we're going to have a tin. And a tin. And a zinc ore. And a zinc ore. So that's taken care of. Now let's do our textures. Let's go ahead and just pin that to our taskbar because we're using the crap out of that. Um, copper ore, we can actually just base it off of this. Now, so tin, we're going to want to be a bit lighter colored. So let's do hue and saturation. Saturation will be a bit lighter. Shall we give it a, like a blue cast? Let's do that. So this will be our tin ore. Save as tin ore. And with our zinc, we're going to want to do, I'm thinking a little bit of light green. So we're going to turn the saturation back up on this. And let's find some light green. There we go. Just like so. Save as zinc ore. Cool. So those are done. Um, are they showing up in blocks? They are. Let's jump in game and make sure that everything's appearing right. I probably dorked one or two things up, so we'll have to fix that, but that's okay. All right, let's uh, let's turn the lights on, and we will go over here. And so we have zinc ore, tin ore, block of copper. Now, how can we get those to line up in the right order? Hmm. That's weird. You know, I know that we used to be able to do it with IDs. I'll have to think on that and get back to it. So those are showing up right. Now really what we want to do is we want to spawn these three different types of blocks into our world. So what we're going to do is uh, in our class, we're going to do this up at the top. And I actually want to do it between our tab and the other. So we are going to say, um, we'll be naming this Neil Craft world gen and this is going to be the name of a class file that we're going to be creating and we're going to give it a name and we're going to call it event world gen equals new neocraft world gen as a method like so so this doesn't exist what do we got to do we got to create that so this is going to be our world generation and I'm going to put this actually under a world gen package. So I add that on, hit finish. You see, I got a new little something, something down here. And then we have our Neocraft world gen. We have a lot to do in here, a lot. So what we're going to do is we're going to say that this implements I world generator. No space. We're going to import that and then we're going to add our unimplemented methods so we are going to have our generate function 
right here. And really what this is going to do, and I want to bring this back up so that way everything's in the same line. We're going to get rid of our to-do. We, we're going to spend all of our time in here so we know that we've got stuff to do. But what we need to do first is um, we need to, um, how do you say, we need to choose where we're going to be putting these, right? So let's actually just bring this back up here. Um, what we need to do is specify which, uh, how do you say, uh, which dimension these are going to appear in. So world provider dot dimension ID, right? So each dimension has its own, own ID. And natively, in Minecraft, there are three of them. We're going to go ahead and create our own uh, dimension as well. Uh, you have zero, which is the surface, right, as, as it's called. That's just a regular old world. You have minus one, which is the nether, and then you have one, which is the end, right? So we are uh, essentially going to create a case statement here. And so we're going to say case zero. Um, and what we want to do is um, we are going to generate our um, surface world, right? And I'm putting a comment in here, so that way when we come back to it, we kind of have an understanding of, of what this looks like. So we're going to say generate surface, um, and we're going to call the variable of the world that we have up here, I'm actually like physically pointing to my screen. You don't see that. Uh, world. Um, random. And we're going to do chunk x times 16, comma, chunk z times 16. just like so, right? Now what we're going to do, again, we're going to do some, some copy-paste. You have to be really careful when you're doing this to make sure that you're not uh, derping the whole fucking thing up. So uh, this was the service world. Now we have minus one, which is the end. Then we're going to have uh, minus one, which is the nether one, which is the end. So we're going to actually change this to generate nether this one is going to be generate end, right? So, uh, what it's actually looking for is methods for these. So we're actually going to have to go through and create these methods. So we're going to create one there. We're going to create the one for the nether, and we're going to create the one for the end. So if we actually wanted to have, you know, zinc and... Uh, our copper appear in the nether, we can do that. We can do that from here. We're only going to focus on the surface right now. And I actually, um, um, I want these to be a little bit different, actually. So I'm going to come here, and I'm going to move this one up here. And we're going to have nether right here, like so. So, what do we want to do on the surface? Well, these are just our methods. These are pretty much straightforward as it is. So, generate surface. We're going to need one more function under here, and we'll get to that in a sec. So, what we're going to say is this dot add or spawn, uh, and it is going to be NeoCraft, and we're going to call our or copper ore, right? We want it to be in the world. We want it to appear at ran... Uh, we want it to appear at random. Now the next thing is our block X position, which is going to be X. Nope, it's going to be I. And then our block Z position, which is going to be J. And we want it to appear in a 16 by 16 area, which is essentially the whole chunk, right, 
a chunk is 16 by 16 and we want all of them to appear there um, and next we're going to have our maximum vein size so really what we're saying here and I believe that this is correct is we're going to say we want it to appear in at least chunks of four and then we're going to do random dot next int and up to six so they're going to spawn in in increments of, of between four and six this is your chance to spawn and I'm going to say that there's a 25 I believe this is 25 percent chance to spawn and then your minimum Y so your Y is up and down bottom is obviously zero C level is 64 um, your your bottom which I'm going to say is going to spawn no lower than 38 and no higher than 100 voila so that is this and what I'm going to actually do here and put this in because this is going to help you later so really what we're going to say is this dot add or spawn and this is just going to be good notes for you right and it's going to be neocraft and you'll want to put your own stuff in here of course neocraft dot or whatever right you're going to have the world, you're going to have random. I is going to be I. I more or less is going to equal your your block X position. Right? Um, J is going to equal your block z position right and your max z your max x excuse me is this one your max z is this one so really what we're saying is that it can spawn anywhere in a chunk right from from 0 all the way up to 16. Anywhere in that chunk this can spawn. The next thing that we have is going to be your um, your maximum vein size, right? That's what this bit is right here, is your max vein size. You have your um, chance to spawn and then you're going to have your minimum Y and your maximum Y right and that's pretty much what we're just going to leave this as um, and really what what this is doing is this is just going to kind of remind you as you go through here what these are and you know what these are actually measured in the world as X and Z so we are going to make those X and Z on all of these right because you have your X axis you have your z-axis and then you have your y-axis. Um, let's make these those as well. X and z. Not making my way around here very well. So, what we're going to do now is again, uh, with these three ors, I really want these to appear in the same spot. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to say or tin or or the zinc or now I'm missing a method and that is this or add or spawn method so we're going to create that and really what this is going to do and we're going to take this and put it actually at the bottom down here clean these up so that way they look the same there um, we have all this stuff all this stuff that we have to do the add or spawn so really what we're going to be doing is all of this stuff right here is right here so when we actually look at these how these correspond we have our block right which is right here and we actually want just block to be block not that because we want it to be generic for all of these so block dot block world is the world random is random 
int x. And I did this wrong. This needs to be z. Um, int x2, i, j. So really what it's doing is it's cor corresponding all of these things down. What we're going to do is we're going to do a for loop. Now, I didn't mention this from the beginning, but I really hope there's some kind of programming background in here. I'm going to kind of explain what a for loop does. Um, <laughs> and hopefully, um, hopefully it'll make sense, at least, at least in how it's being used. My fucking cord is all tangled up in my chair right now. Let me fix that. And it has Velcro. And it's attached to my sock. Christ on a cracker. There we go. Fucking hell. Alright. I'm in order now. I got my shit worked out. So, um, let's do a for loop. For. And we're going to declare an integer of i. Equals. equals zero as long as I is less than um, our chance to spawn which you know what Let's do this, because this is going to be all fucked up either way. Let's do this. This will be our block X position, like we had list up, up above. This will be our block Z position. This, remember, is our um, max X. This is going to be our max Z. This is going to be our max vein size. So that doesn't need to be K. L is going to be our chance to spawn. And then this is going to be our min y and our max y. So that'll make a little bit more sense here on what all of this is doing. So for i, as long as i is less than chance to spawn, we're going to increment. So really what we're going to do is we're going to go through this, this essentially 25 times because that's what we've set our chance to spawn at. And we're going to say I plus plus. Following along? <laughs> it's okay if you're not. So really what it's saying is we're just going to loop through this 25 times because our chance to spawn is 25 times. So what we're going to do is our integer pause x Pause x equals <laughs> seriously equals um, block x position plus random dot next int and this is going to be our max x and really what this is doing right now is it's just it's, it's like you run into a vein and there are always different shapes and sizes in terms of where all the blocks go and everything like that. That's really what we're, we're doing right now is we are, we are specifying what those are going to look like. Um, this is going to be min y plus block, no, plus random next int. And it is going to be our max y, which is 100. It needs to be in here. 
is going to be our max y, which is 100, minus our min y, right, which we specified as 38. Next, uh, integer position z is going to equal a lot like our one up top here for the y block z position plus random next int and this is going to be max z right here Whew. and what does all this do new world gen mineable wrong one block max vein size dot dot generate in the world randomly position X position Y in position Z. See, I told you this is going to be a long ass episode. We're already like 26 some odd minutes. Um, close that up. I need to spell world gen mineable and I need to import that. So import world gen mineable. So really what we've just done is we've set up, and this is a majority of the work. For us to come back and insert more ores later on is going to be super easy, but really what we've done is we've specified, hey, this is what I'm adding, right? We're going to spawn in copper, tin, and ore between the levels 38 and 100, <sighs> and in veins between 4 and 6. So let's do this. Let's do this. We come back here, and we notice that we don't have any errors here anymore, right? That's cool. That's very cool. Now what we need to do is make sure that, um, um, how do you say, that uh, that they're going to appear in the world, right? So let's do this. We're going to go ahead, and um, what we're going to do is we're going to delete our old world, because remember, the world gen already occurred right here. So we're going to delete that. We're going to create a new one. And this is going to be Neil Craft. Neil Craft test um, 0 0.2 because we've done some different things. So loading world, building terrain, right? It's going to actually be building our ores into the world. Now, how do we find this? How do we find these ores? What is this? This is sand and sandstone. Desert Hills. Sorry, I am not entirely familiar with uh, the new the new stuff. Do I see any ores there? Nope. Oh, how about in here? We've got some coal. That's not ours. Let's get some uh, some torches here. iron, but I'm not seeing any of the ones that are mine. Uh, finding a hole. That all just looks like gravel. Oh, what about here? What do we got here? Iron, iron, iron. I'm not seeing any of my stuff, guys. Just iron. This is bad. I may have made a boo-boo. And yeah, that's definitely what I'm thinking. Because this is just iron. We should have seen some of, uh, some of my ores already. And some of yours. Because you're going through and you're practicing this as well, right? Yep. All right. Let's see. 
what we have going on here. What is, what's the frequency, Kenneth? Um, oh, geez, you know what? I'm a dork. Um, our registries. <laughs> we have to come down here. Um, we're going to call this spawn. And we are going to do game registry dot register world generator. And it's going to be event world gen. And uh, the weight will be zero. Good lord. Okay, so now let's try this again. Shall we? Long episode. Long episode. Um, we're going to delete that, and we're going to create just the same one again. So, Neil, Neil, craft, test, 0 0.2, creative. Building our stuff in now. Let's find ourselves a cave, shall we? This could be promising. Do you see what I see? Now I'm going to have shitty Christmas music stuck in my head. Let's do this. Oh, look at that. We've got both copper and zinc here. And tin. So we have all of them here. So let's do this. Let's light this bad boy up because I'm afraid of the dark. Let's get some gear. Sword. Let's get a big sword in case anybody comes along. Get an iron pickaxe because I'm not pretentious. And, um, oh, you know what? Just in case because we're going to be here for a while. Um, I'm not pretentious, but I am. I am a chicken. And we want some foots. Where's the foots? There's the foots. And game mode zero. Let's get all this stuff put on. Cool. So let's mine up some of our stuff. Yeah. Loving it. See how they're nice and random the way they're showing up? How many did I just get out of that? Four? And I got three of those. And there's one. Only one tin. Maybe it goes down farther? Oh, it does. Two. Three. More zinc up here. Cool. So, we've got our selection of ores that we were just able to mine out of here. Do we got anything down here? Uh, yep. Yeah. Some more zinc. See what I see in the distance? What is this? This is lava, right? Yeah. You can see some of our copper down there. That's cool. Right there, hanging out, chilling. We got a little something something over there. But we're actually going to come over here, and this is where I think we're going to make our base. So. You'll notice, excuse me, that when I came in here, I created these other ores as well. My homework, and your homework as well, go through, create some additional ores. Use your world gen tutorial, the little bit that we just went over right you're understanding a bit what these means I want you to tinker around with this I want you to make some huge veins 
I want you to lower the rarity on those or make them massive, right? Tinker around with these numbers. See how it affects in there. Remember that you have to create a new world each and every time you do that, though, right? So that's your homework. Create some new ores, right? I have three that I'm working with. I'm going to implement the rest of these in my off time. But go through, create some new ores for yourselves, get them built into uh, the world. Also, what I want you to do, I want you to add smelting recipes for each of these, right? So then that way, when you're getting these ores, you can turn them into ingots. Also, make sure that you're going to have to do textures for those. The textures, as we have them, are pretty straightforward, right? We can go to copper right now, and I can make my vanadium. I want vanadium to actually be a little bit purple. It's going to be over here. So there we go, vanadium. And I'll actually just save that right now as vanadium ore. Right? Manganese, I actually want to be pink. So make sure that you're going through and doing all of this, right? Pink. There we go. Save as. Manganese ore. So that's your homework. Go create some extras. Make sure you're texturing it. If you want to be really impressive, you want to get some extra credit, which doesn't really get you anything, uh, make them into blocks as well, right? You've seen how we do that. Thanks, everybody. Sorry for the long episode. I knew that we were going to have tons to cover. Love you lots. Like, subscribe. This is Neil. I'll see you next time.